Hello everyone and welcome to Geography Club. This is the last part of the chapter number 8, third part and the last point to discuss all the things from our social science textbook. Today we are going to have the ending of the syllabus from the geography also. Already we have finished the history part, civics part and today we are going to complete for the geography part also. In this part we are going to see about the wildlife and after that we are going to do the question answers from this chapter. I request you please keep your notebook and a pen to copy down the important points. Let's proceed. Chapter number 8 and the name of the chapter is clear to you that was talking about climate, vegetation and wildlife. And the two topics we are going to see, wildlife and exercise. How the wildlife is existing because of the natural vegetation. So natural vegetation is give a natural habitat to this wildlife and that the wildlife is given. So I request you please read it and see your doubt and difficulty. First wildlife. Forests are the homes of variety of wildlife. So the word is speaking the variety of wildlife. Right? Variety of life there is number of wildlife. There are thousands of species of animals and a large variety of the reptiles, amphibian mammals, bird, insect and worm which dwell in the forest. The tiger is our national animal. It found in a various part of our country. Next point, game forest which is situated in Gujarat that is the last home for the Asian tick plant. Right? Asian tick plant. Elephants and one on rhinos roam in the forest of Assam. The place is mentioned in Assam, one on rhinos are there. So, Asian tick land, which is only present in India, they are in Gir forest in Gujarat, like that, and the tiger is our national animal. So, I request you, please see the lines properly. If you will still be and a doubt and difficulty, please let me know that. So here in the textbook, you are seeing the photograph, right? Next. Elephants are also found in Kerala and Karnataka. Camels and wild asses are found in the great Indian desert and the run of Kutch that is situated in Gujarat. Wild goats, snow leopards here are found in the Himalayas. Because snow leopards, so in Himalaya region, they are frozen one over there. So snow leopards and wild goats are living there. Besides these are many animals are found in our any countries such as monkeys, wolf, jackal, nail guy, cheetah, etc. India is equally rich in bird life, right? The peacock is our national animal and other common birds are parrot, pigeon, mena, bees, bulbul and them. So dear children, this point is talking about the wild life. Plus we are having the rich and rich variety and species of birds also. We are having number of wildlife also. We are having the bio reserves also and so many national parks also to preserve and conserve the wildlife. This chapter is basically focusing and giving a feeling to us or a key placing in our mind not to hunt the animals, not to hurt them, not to destroy the trees and plants. Next, there are several bird centuries which have been created to give birds their natural habitat. These provides the bird protection from the hunters which I was talking you about. Can you name the five birds that are commonly found in your area? So this is your homework. You have to write and you have to say about which five birds are there. Next, there are several hundreds of species of snake found in India. Cobra and pig are the important among them. Due to the cutting of forests and hunting, several species of wildlife in India are declining rapidly. Many species have already become extinction. That means they are no more or they are in the category of endangered species. Now the sparrow is in endangered species. Next, in order to protect them, the national parks, centuries, bio reserves have been set. The government has also started the project tiger, project elephant to protect these animals. 
So these are the initiatives taken by our government of India to preserve and protect the natural vegetation and wildlife. You can name some wildlife sanctuary of India and locate them on a map. So this is your homework. You can do that. You can also contribute in conserving wildlife, right? You can refuse to buy the things which are made from the parts of body from the animals such as their bones, horns, fur, skin, feather. Every year we observe wildlife week in the first week of October to create awareness and conserving the habitats of the animal kingdom. Next, we have finished here. So here you can see in your textbook, some newspaper clippings are given here. So this newspaper clipping, you have to read it. After that one, two, three. Three questions are there. I am reading for you. Why do poachers kill tiger? What will happen if tiger vanish from our forest? Have you ever visited any tiger reserve or a zoo where tiger are kept? So these three questions you have to do. You have to write in your notebook or any piece of paper and read this newspaper cutting, right? So here we have finished our syllabus. We are going to see about the question answers. In this particular point we are seeing the variety of wildlife in India. The richness of species of the wildlife present in India. And what the role of government is there to protect, preserve and conserve the wildlife. Next we are going to see about the question answers. There are only three questions and three fill in the blanks and three tick the marks. Please stick it in your textbook, otherwise in your notebook, please write the answer. First one is for you. Answer the following question. First, which wind brings rainfall in India? Why it is so important? So already we have seen the monsoon wind is bringing the rainfall in India and it is very important because if more amount of rainfall will be there, there will be a bountiful crops and we are going to have a prosperous life. Next, see the answer. Monsoon wind brings rainfall in India. Agriculture in India depends on rain. If good rain will be there, we are going to have the bountiful crop. Please write the answers or ticket in your textbook. Question number second. Name the different seasons in India. Already we have discussed about the cold weather season, right? Hot weather season, that means rainy season after that and after that retreating monsoon. Cold weather, hot weather, then the rainy season and after that retreating monsoon. Different season, cold weather, hot weather, southwest monsoon and season of retreating monsoon. That's a rainy and autumn. Winter, summer, rainy and autumn. Please write it. Next, what is natural vegetation? While discussing this concept only, I have told you to have a tick mark in the textbook only. Please continue. The grasses, the shrubs and the trees which grow their own without the interference or help of the human being are called as natural vegetation. Next, this is the tick the correct answer. The wettest place of the world, which is having the highest rainfall in the world, the answer is number third, that is the most important. Next, wild goat and snow leopards they are found in Himalaya region. Then the during the southwest monsoon, the period, the moisture laden winds blow from sea to land. And the answers are here. Right? Please tick it. Please stick it. Next we are going to see about fill in the blanks. So the answers for fill in the blanks is first one do retreat in monsoon give an Asian decline. Question hot and dry winds known as loo. Okay? which is blowing during the day in summer.
the state of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu receive a great amount of rainfall during the season of rain-tipping monsoon. And Gir Forest in Gujarat is the home of Asian decline. Right? Please write it. Lastly, I want to tell you a very important point from this point. Our syllabus for social science has been completed. Still you feel any doubt and difficulty, please tell me. After that we are going to start the revision for annual examination, right? Plus the upcoming examination which are going to enhance your learning powers in social science. I am going to have the revision for annual examination plus the upcoming examination. Whether it may be monthly or whether it may be with a PG2 or whatever. Right? So, I request you once again, please complete your notebook first. Right? All the videos are carried, all the exercises, whenever I have finished the chapter, I told you from this PowerPoint presentation, the question also and the answer also. If still you are facing any doubt or difficulty, take a screenshot from your mobile, then enlarge it and write the question, write the answer, think about it and write your own views in that. Thank you to each and everyone. Till then, be safe and secure. And please remember this thing. After this presentation, we are going to have revision. You should never miss any revision video because that is very important for upcoming examination. Thank you to each and everyone. Jai Best of luck.